Ladies and gents, how you going? We're looking at one of the strangest car markets in the world. We're talking about New Zealand today. Australia is up there for sure. I've learned a lot about that. But I think New Zealand has even arguably even more or car manufacturers, I should say, from different markets. And I think they're pretty relaxed on like import laws and stuff from what I've heard. Hopefully we'll hear about it in this video. You can leave your two cents in the comments as well. Really excited to see it. This video is called Driving in New Zealand in a Strange Cars there. This is from I'm Nick Murray. Here and we go, is. guys. Driving in New Zealand and the strange cars you will see there. Firstly, awesome. let's be upfront. New Zealanders are an odd bunch. For example, if you own a BMW in New Zealand, any BMW, for some reason you feel compelled to slap an M badge on it. <laughs> no matter what the model is or how crappy your BMW is, pretty much all of them. That is hilarious. That is so true, man. Uh, it's the case here in the States as well. In fact, I think <laughs> I might own the only non-M badge BMW in the country. Something to but be proud of. we're getting ahead of ourselves. As you might know, New Zealand is all the way down here, far, far from most places. It is. And New Zealand is not as small as you might think. It's about a thousand miles from end to end and has a fairly well-maintained wow. road system. Whoa. Uh, he's right. A thousand miles end to end? That is way bigger than I thought. I don't know what I would have guessed, but it would have, wouldn't have been that long. It's actually quite big. And it, let me say, beautiful, absolutely beautiful place. Which includes a road that is sort of New Zealand's main interstate. Cool. It runs the length of the country and is called State Highway 1. Cool. Let me show you a bit of State Highway 1. Uh, wait a minute there, Nick. That just looks like a windy single lane road. Yeah. Yep, that is pretty much what it is. Wow, that is different than highways here. I almost feel bad for people that own fast cars in New Zealand because there are a few places you can really give them the beans, mm. particularly if you're stuck behind that caravan. Yeah. Or that caravan. <laughs> or that caravan. Lots of caravans. Oh, my However, God. driving in New Zealand is interesting for a number of reasons. Firstly, we drive on the left, just like the Australians. That's right. And the Japanese. And the Indians. And the British, and the South Africans, and of course, the Jamaicans. That's right. Yay, Jamaica. Second, the country is very pretty, so you get to see it some is. amazing scenery. Third, I imagine going for a joyride, uh, you know, just going for a cruise, rowing through some gears, hearing that engine rev up, and of course, uh, just cruising and, and admiring your surroundings. Nice curvy roads. Uh, I'm sure the roads are pretty good. Not like the pothole riddled roads in Illinois. Oh, geez. Anyway, yeah, this uh, looks beautiful. You get to see cool road signs like this and this. <laughs> you also get the odd chicken. Nice. And a lot of possum roadkill. Yeah. But most of all, despite being pretty much as far away from everyone as it is possible to get, New Zealand enjoys the widest diversity of cars of any country in the world. That's amazing. What? How is that possible? Right. Well, here's how. We get American cars. Cool. We get Australian cars. Cool. We get European cars, including Skoda, Citroen, Peugeot, all of the European cars we don't get in the US. Nice. Uh, we also get the strange Chinese cars, and of course we get the Koreans. Wow. And the odd Russian car. But what? most of all, we get Japanese cars. And not yeah. just normal Japanese cars. We get all the odd lots and experimental Japanese home market cars that are used and imported into New Zealand. See how many wow. of these you've heard of. I mean, there are literally Let's hundreds go. of them. I just drove around for an hour and found these ones. The Skyline. Whoa, which... okay. Whoa. That is true Japanese, like JDM then, because that is exactly an Infinity, like G37 or whatever here. Uh, but it's badged as a Nissan in Japan. I've heard of that. And a Nissan Skyline at that. And then look at it. It's a sedan. <laughs> so very interesting. That is like New Zealand gets real Japanese cars. Not Japanese, you know, like Japanese cars like everyone else has. No, like actually Japan cars. Wow. Of course, there's an Infiniti in the U.S. Yeah. The Honda Ara. Honda Aria? What is that? I'm not sure if it looks like a Civic or an Accord because I can't tell the size difference. Obviously, the Accord is slightly bigger, but it's different. Honda Airwave. Whoa. The Nissan Tina. What? The Nissan Algrand. Look at that. What the heck? The Nissan 
Wind Road. Oh my the god. Honda Stream. <laughs> uh, most of these don't have US counterparts. They're actually legitimate, way different and very odd. <laughs> and my favorite, the Nissan or Nissan La Festa. I mean La Festa. <laughs> just wow. sounds like fun driving that, right? Yeah. Sounds like But it Fiesta, is Toyota like that party. takes the prize. They must be running out Fielder. of English words. They have so many models. Uh, the Fielder, the Esquire, what? the Estima. Okay, <laughs> the- that looks like an old Toyota Camry wagon from the 90s, but uh, it's called a Scepter? The Scepter? I mean, <laughs> I mean, look how bung that thing is. The Run-X, <laughs> the Noah, what? the Viz, the Spacio. Uh- <laughs> now they're just making up words <laughs> with that one. Yeah. The Blade, the Vista. The Ractus, what? The Mark X, the Granvilla, the Aristo. Now, That's a Lexus you might recognize here. this uh, yeah. as a Lexus in the US. Yes. But the Japanese, of course, are not as easily fooled. Uh, by How many freaking cars does Toyota make? Sticking an L on a Toyota and upping the price. So they just yeah. leave it as a Toyota, which would also explain the Wisdom and the Harrier and many yes. other Toyota Lexuses, which are Toyotas in Japan, but. Okay, it is so weird, not going to lie, seeing, like, all of these are Lexus here. Uh, Toyota makes a few cars, and then Lexus makes a few cars, and a lot of the Lexus cars here in the United States are, you know, different from the Toyotas, as in, like, Toyota doesn't offer whatever this is, the Harrier, whatever that says. It's just Lexus only. You can't even get a Toyota version. Granted, some other cars are the same. So you can get like a Toyota Camry, and then, of course, you can get a Lexus version of that. But some are kind of unique. So, yeah, it's so weird seeing this that's always a Lexus to me, like a Lexus RX 350 or whatever, and seeing it as a Toyota is kind of bizarre. <laughs> Lexus is in the U.S., but not the plats. Oh, that's an or echo. The reflect here. <laughs> they should reflect on how to spell reflect. Right? What is that? Oh my God! Whoa. The Toyota will. You should. What is that? Like a golf cart with a body on it? See it from the front. The Toyota Rum <laughs> or Ram. Once again, <laughs> this is just a made-up word. Oh, the Toyota Super Windy. Super Maybe Windy. A little less broccoli. Uh, <laughs> the the Rugulus. What how a handsome unit that is. How many cars do they make? And finally. Are you looking to transport a militant group of fundamentalists? Then the Toyota Isis is the van for you. There it is. <laughs> wow. That was quite an awesome list. That was absolutely uh, hilarious. Uh, definitely check his channel out in the description down below. It'll be linked down there. That was really fun. And... It's interesting. I mean, he literally is just talking about and taking pictures of these really weird and different cars from so many different manufacturers on the beautiful islands of New Zealand. It's uh, very interesting because a lot of them are so different. And what a cool perk of living uh, in New Zealand. You get all these different vehicles. And uh, as a car guy, that would be extremely exciting. Please throw a thumbs up on there if you enjoyed this, got a laugh out of it, and of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Really cannot wait to hear your comments on this one. For anyone that has traveled to New Zealand, for of course, Aussies that have gone uh, on vacation or or holiday or whatever uh, to New Zealand, did you notice that there were even more cars there than back home? And then of course, for you Kiwis out there, first of all, I love New Zealand. You guys have a beautiful country. And second of all, Were you aware that you guys have so many cars to choose from, uh, basically more than anyone else on earth? Kind of cool, if you ask me. Got to look up some New Zealand car meets, I reckon, sometime. I think that might be really cool. That's about it, guys. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, catch you later.